Hello guys, welcome back to the new problem. Problem number 263A. The link is problem set slash problem slash 263 slash A. So it's a long problem in reading but a very easy problem. So that problem category is type A and name is beautiful matrix. Same set of stuff below it. So yes, skipping it. So next is you have got a 5 into 5 matrix consisting of 24 zeros and single number 1. Okay, so we got to know that the 5 into 5 matrix, there are 24 zeros and single number 1. Let index the matrix rows by number 1 to 5 from top to bottom. Let index the matrix columns by number 1 to 5 from left to right. So, okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that is how we are indexing the matrix. And in one move, you are allowed to apply any one of the following two transformations to the matrix. So, you have to move some characters I think and you can only apply these two moves swap so two neighboring matrix rows that is rows with indexes i and i plus one so you can swap th this row to this row sorry this row to this row you can swap adjacent rows only this row to this row okay so and you can see that rows with indexes i and i plus one so swap two neighboring matrix columns this column uh, sorry this first column and the second column this third column and this fourth column you can swap this so you think that a matrix looks beautiful if the single number one of the matrix is located in the middle in the cell that is on the intersection of the third row and the third column so if this one is here uh, third row and third column here the one which I am showing with the mouse pointer so then the matrix is considered to be beautiful so you have to count the minimum number of moves needed to make the string beautiful so what people generally think is that they will make a matrix 5 into 5 and then will check for that value 1 and then they will move that to the position 3 but, uh, but I think that you don't have to do these type of stuff to solve that problem you can just go easily and let's i can show you by coding how you can solve this problem so problem number uh, 263a okay uh, okay uh, just a second uh, just let me add that okay so Problem number 263A. Okay, so guys, I'm already adding all the code into the remote remo repo, and you can always contribute to that and run into your local machine, whatever you like. So, yes. Um, now, what people generally do is that they type directly into forming the uh, matrix so i think that you do not have to form the matrix here and let's there are you see that you have already five into five matrix and it already states that you have only single number one so let's uh, what i can say that you can take the index of the beautiful matrix the column for one the desired column for row for one okay so that will make our matrix beautiful got it so what is next is like you have given five inputs okay you can take from one also you can take from zero also no problem here next is okay so oh i have already taken i okay no problem so what you can do is string s equals to xc dot next line dot okay so what i have done here is that let me explain first so i will am taking all the strings here these strings as a string i am taking all these input as a string and storing in string variable s and what i will do is that i will remove the white spaces here you can see what I am marking from the mouse pointer. These are the white spaces and I will replace that. Uh, okay, replace. And then 
I will uh, replace that white space by a null string and okay so what I will do is that I will initialize another variable where one is found so uh, row one column for one so what I will the original location in the matrix of one I think that makes sense if it is not making any sense to you then I will be explaining and you will be cleared by the code I will be writing so no tension I think that makes sense else okay sorry um, so what I have done is there is that I have and put it the string s and then what I will check that if s dot contains one okay so um, what I will take is that row one equals to what will be the row count here uh, row count here is that the value of i1 got it because these are the rows number of rows and what will be the column count here so that is a something where you have to apply your mind and use your brain so uh, you can just use s dot caract sorry so s dot index of okay one and this index of generally i think is start from zero yes so you have to just plus one to it and then you have to break the loop okay so uh, what you have to print is that you have to just um, check that how much distance is this location to this location you just have to calculate this so you can just mat that a b s that gives us the absolute value so that you do not go into negative for the number of count of moves so generally what i will do is that i minus row one okay and so no problem i and j are same as i have taken j for the desired row so i will uh, subtract the row here and then math dot abs uh, i minus column one okay so i think that should work uh, let me just check it and i will explain to you more clearly how it is working so it is shows three okay this is working this test case is working and this shows one okay so finally this problem has been solved uh, but if you are not clear about it let me explain it once more so what i have done exactly uh, just a second uh -huh. so um, there is nothing something done here like which you fear for but let me just explain it so this is uh, what is the initial array and you have one uh, i may am using a pointer mouse so my writing is not really that good and not in practice so these are the indexes here and i have marked it so this is what we are talking about so what is the index of this location uh, the index is uh, row 2 and column 5 okay i think that makes sense so where we have to get to get uh, where we have to like move this position uh, of one to this element then it is known as a beautiful matrix so what is the position of this it is the third row sorry uh it is not working it is the third row i'm sorry third and the third column and the third column okay so that is basically the third row and the third column here and so you have to move this pointer from here to here so what i have done here is that i have saved this location three and the desired row three of uh, like this is three and three and next is uh, we are inputting this rows as a string in our code so there is no hassle here and what i have done is that if the first 
is input is like this uh, string comes so I have replaced the white space characters and stored it in the string s so what I have checked is that is this string containing one I think now then we move on to two is this string containing one yes it is con uh, it is containing one so okay um, what is this string zero 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 one okay so this is the uh, string that we have got here s so if s dot contains one yes it does contains one so how we have got the row the row is the loop outer loop value okay so one two i one value here is two so we have got the value of row what is the column of one so column of one is uh, the indexing here is zero sorry just a second okay so zero one two three four so but uh, the indexing start from zero and index of will return four but we have done a plus one here so we get the ex actual location of the column of one so what we get five so whatever uh, value what are values of uh, row one and column one so so the row one here is two and the column one gets us to five so what are the initial number of moves uh, to make it to here three minus two that is one and 5 minus 3 is 2 so the total number of moves 1 plus 2 equals to 3 sorry this is plus I'm sorry okay so I think that makes it clear how I have approached to this problem and you have solved this problem without any usage of beautiful matrix or creating any sort of matrix data structure so you have not used any data structure array here so that is a very basic problem let us submit this problem into the code forces platform okay so problem number 263a okay so just submitting it let's see if it goes right or wrong um, actually uh, you, what you have to do is that read a test uh, read a problem and then think about how to approach that problem optimally so that you do not need any extra number of test cases or any extra number of like data structures that are not needed in the problem like it shows that you have you can use a string or you can use a um, array so that is not needed i think and you can easily just by basic arithmetic you can just solve so why it is not moving running on test 21 and uh, okay so it is not moving after test 21 let me reload that page what happened what did happen uh, uh, where is my solution uh, it is also running on test 21 and let's see what happens uh, why it is not moving is the solution correct mm. I think there is a plot. Uh, I think we are either time limit exceeded. This is not showing any error. Why it is not running? In just a second. So it is stuck on uh, test 21. Don't know what the error is. Um, shall I wait? Shall I wait? I'm just waiting for one more minute. If that uh, shows some type of accepted or any error then I will um, give you some another solution to this problem but it is not moving actually why it is not moving so just one more minute for it and then I am closing this video uh, let me know about that that solution works or not if you are watching this and submitting the same solution as mine and if you have got some another approach then do collaborate on the repository to push your solutions and send a PR and I am very likely to accept that so uh, why it is not running running on test 21 uh, I think that my solution is clear I think there is uh, some platform issues and I, uh, I will get the solution like after one or two minutes i don't know i think there is some error in their platform 
sometimes the art solution submission gets stuck so yes thank you for watching guys uh, the solution is correct i think and if you have got some another solution or there is some connection correction to this problem you can please comment here okay bye bye guys thank you